Thank you for tuning in. It's your boy, One Shot Two Wheels. It's your boy again, man. Hey, we back here. We back again with podcast number two. And um, before we get started, I just want to share this thing with you guys, man. I I want to share this moment with you guys and let you know my lessons learned. Uh, Kevin, I never told you this, but dude, I mean, I shared that I had an accident, but I never gave you the details of how this happened. So I finally had my first real accident on my motorcycle. And man, you talking about, whew. So luckily, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really seeing why you wear all that protective gear. Like I see why people is like padded down now. Cause man, that concrete it is not forgiving. <laughs> Trust me. So, I mean, and, and this was a scary moment. Like I say, I don't think I ever told you all the details of this. So, I was at my parents' house with my motorcycle while my house was being built. And so, I was going to ride my motorcycle around. I think I was just going down the block or something. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to ride a lot. But, I only had my helmet on and I had my padded... Um, Ooh, that's safety first. <laughs> I had my padded, I had my um, jacket on with my um, pads and everything in my jacket. Mm -hmm. Then I had some jeans on and I had like some tennis shoes on. And that was it. And luckily, I'm glad I had my jeans on at least. Um, so I was going out of, out of the neighborhood, um, the back way, out of my parents' neighborhood. And so I was, coming around the, I was coming around the curve. And in this curve, in the curve was a car that was sitting on the side of the street on the opposite side. But it was a car coming towards me, but the, I didn't see the car because the car was going kind of fast, and I was already in the curb, so I couldn't see the car from the beginning. I saw it once I was able to, at a certain point of the curve. So as the car was passing me, I had to get over on my motorcycle, but I was too far over where it was. I was going to scrape the um, what you call that, like the little cement blocks, you know that on the sidewalk to to curve. level up the curve right i was going to scrape mm -hmm. the curve in the curve and still fall so i leaned heavily mm -hmm. back over while i was still mm -hmm. in the curve and it was a pothole like directly in the center of the street like um where the sewage is you know the sewage pot potholes and it was pretty you talking about that way we went the way we went last week yeah as we go okay yeah I got you. When we go out the back way, not the front way right. on Fielder, right. but the back way. So, right. like, in that okay. curve, it was a pothole. And I saw the way I was leaning, that if I would have hit that pothole, and I wasn't going fast, I was still going, like, 20 or 25. It, the way If I would have hit that pothole, it would automatically just made me just, like, fall, like, in the street. So I was like, I don't want to fall in the street. I mean, because that's me just being all skinked up. So I chose to lean it back up. So my only option, because I was in a curve, is to lean, and I couldn't maneuver my I, I couldn't uh, maneuver my bike to lean even harder mm -hmm. to miss the pothole, because I had been already mm -hmm. over there. Because I didn't I only had so much room, because I still had a car right here that was parked. So I couldn't go all the way over. So I'm still only using half of half of my road, half of my lane, and in, in the middle of it, it's a pothole and it's the curve. And like I say, I leaned hard to come over so I didn't hit the curve as I was in the curve, like going around the curve. But I didn't want my bike to jump up the way I was leaning and come straight down and crash in the street. So I chose to sit it back up. And I tried to I tried to sit it up to maneuver a little bit and then lean back hard. No, nah, that didn't work out for me, bro. I hit, <laughs> I hit that curve. Uh -huh. And it must have flipped. I, I guess as as I hit the curve, I must have grabbed the brake mm -hmm. at the same time as I hit the curve. As I was hitting the curve, I must have grabbed the brake and the back brake. I was trying to stop so I can just like go up on the curve a little bit. I flipped over. Like I literally just flipped over. Luckily, I landed yeah. in the grass, but I slid like all the way through the people grass. And I must have hit my head because, like, my helmet is like right here is cracked. Mm. So when I yeah. flipped over, Man. I must have hit the cement of the sidewalk or something. Oh, they curved on the curve. And, and when was it? Man, it was like uh, it was a couple of months ago. 
Okay. I, I want to say it was around like February. Okay. Okay, that's probably why. Okay. Feb- I vaguely remember you saying something about it. February or May. Made the bike now. Huh? Yeah, and like, but uh-huh. but the scary part about it, like I say, I wasn't going so fast. Yeah. But like, like, I hit the curve, and I knocked myself yeah. out. Like okay, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I knocked myself out. So I was unconscious. Yeah. Yeah. And when I woke okay, up, okay, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. When I woke up, the bite was like, the bite was like, so say I must have flipped over, boom, and, and fell into the grass, and the bite was like laying beside me, like right here, in the grass. Dang. And so luckily, the bite didn't land on me. On you, yeah. It just flipped beside me. And it threw me off, and I hit the concrete yeah. on my head. I must have hit it on top of my head or whatever, because I was out. And like when I woke up, like I had people like waking me up, like trying to get me up, trying to you know undo my help, undo my helmet and stuff. When I came to, like you know, and, and like the police was there and the ambulance was there. So I must have been, I must have been, you know, I must have been out a for, for a minute, like maybe like mm. 10, 10, 15 minutes or whatever. I was mm. out. So, I mean, and, and for, for the longest, I was like, like, like everything that wasn't padded was hurting on my right side. Mm-hmm. So, like, I had a headache. I had a headache, but I had the helmet on. The helmet was cracked, so I got to get a new yeah. helmet. But, I, you know, I had I had the helmet on. My, my, um, my, my visor is cracked mm-hmm. and scratched up. So I can tell where I where I impacted. Right. And it must have been like right here. As right. I flipped over. Because that's where all the damage is, is like on this side of my helmet. And um so I also um like my fingers, right? So luckily I had gloves on. It was padded gloves, but I guess my fingers must have got caught up in as the bike was flipping. I guess I was still holding on as I was getting thrown off. So I don't know how, but my fingers like this finger, this finger and this finger still hurt. Like today, I must have really sprung it or broke it. I mean, I don't think I broke it cause I could, I still could move it. But at the time it was like sore. It was, you know, it was swollen. I must've sprung it real bad, but I still can feel it like right now where it, it doesn't feel like the rest of my fingers. It's just, these two are just like, you know, it kind of yeah. hurt. Like if I was to punch somebody for real, I start screaming before they start screaming because my, like I can feel it. Like, right. I don't think it's not all the way here. Like, I don't know why, but, and like my ankle, my ankle was like swollen. And my toes was like um, swollen, like my big toe. So probably from like me hitting my back brake, you know, so when I hit my back brake, your foot go like this to, to hit the brake. So like this is the heel and this is the toes, but the way your heel sit, your brake sit like this and your heel is, so when you hit the brake, you kind of like push the brake down like that. Okay. So I can tell like my foot must've got caught on the curve and smashed between. Mm-hmm. Cause like my ankle and my foot was all hurting. So man, I mean that, that made me wake up and respect the motorcycles even more because I, I was like, you know, I think I was getting too cocky of myself. And I'm glad that just that, because this could have been something like major, like out on the street or something like that, where I could have got hit by a car or oncoming cars and stuff like that. So I, I, I started to be a little bit more careful, a lot careful, actually. Um, and that's why I say now I see why these people wear like all that padded gear and protected gear. Because like all of this was good. My head was just ringing a little bit, but I was good. You know what I'm saying? Like, but Mm -hmm. it was hard for me to walk. I mean, and luckily when I came to, I was able to get up, you know, dust myself off. Like nothing was like major, majorly wrong. And my bike wasn't majorly messed up either. So I was able to like pick the bike up, standing up and um, ride it back to my parents' house. So I actually Mm -hmm. rode the bike back to my parents' house. Um, oh, they ain't take to the hospital. They ain't take you right out of the well, So, so they asked me, did I want to go to the hospital? Like, cause I like, I woke uh-huh. up as they was getting there. So as they was coming to, uh-huh. I woke as I was coming. I mean, as I was coming to, I woke up. It was just like two police uh-huh. officers already there, and they must have called the ambulance. 
So as the ambulance mm-hmm. was coming, I was already up. And I was just like, you know, I you know, I was checking myself like I was a little sore, but I, I was like, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. But everybody wanted me to still go to the hospital because I got knocked out. <laughs> like I was I was literally unconscious. But Hey, you just went, man. I should have. I mean, you know, next time I probably will, you know, if it happens again. But like I say, I'm trying to respect the bike. And in doing that process, man, I, I, I learned, I, I gained the appreciation for so much. Like, number one, I'm still going to always respect the bike. I'm not, I'm not, I'm never going to think that I'm, I'm such a great rider where I can get out of every situation. I'm a, you know, and, and for the longest, it took me to, um, it took me to realize what happened. And so, mm-hmm. Like, I didn't want to be the ones who was like, all right, I'm finna put the bike down. I'm not riding it no more. That's it. Like, I, I'm i not that type of person. I'm like, so I want to fix my mistake. Mm-hmm. So, I, and I'm not going to lie. I didn't do this right away. Probably like a month or a month and a half went by before I got on back onto that bike. And I never really rode it until just mm-hmm. like recently. Like, I recently, like three weeks ago, just really rode the bike. But until then, I never, yeah, I never really rode the bike. So, like, what I did was, um, number one, I got, I I had a secondary helmet. So, I'm using my secondary helmet right now. But I'm finna order me another helmet. I'm finna order me um, another jacket, the pants. I'm finna get the, the padded pants now instead of, like, wearing jeans. I want padded pants. And I want the, um, I want the bit thick boots with the ankles padded, because now I see why they be having your ankles padded now, because you gonna, you fucking yeah. feet up. <laughs> so I like, and like, so I'm gonna go back and order some more gloves. Like I got a second pair of gloves, but I'm gonna order the gloves that's padded, all the way mm-hmm. like right here, because also my wrist was hurting, and it was scraped up, because I had my short gloves on, and I didn't have the long gloves on. So I'm gonna go back and order okay. me order me some um, long gloves and short gloves um, just so I can be all padded up. Um, I'm good where I'm at then. I don't need a, I, don't need a <laughs> I mean, it's dangerous, man. Um, but like, but like what I did was I, um, I hit around the, I, I rode the bike again. I gave myself back confidence. And so I took it, yeah, okay. I took it slow and I went back around that same steep curve again. And I was saying, what did I do wrong versus what should I have done? And bottom line is, it's kind of hard because like I say, when I started to turn, mm-hmm. I saw the car that was sitting on the side, but I wasn't expecting the other car that was coming was all the way on my side, passing that car in the curb. Mm-hmm. So number one, it was a dangerous spot for the person who parked their car to park it right there. Right. Number two, right. Number two, that other car should have stopped, but a car versus a motorcycle, that car is always going to win. So the thing that I told myself is what I should have done was just stopped. I should have just stopped Mm -hmm. and parked. And, and, you know, because like I say, I was only doing like 20 or 25. I could have easily emergency stopped and not flipped my bike over and stopped Mm -hmm. on a dime. And so I should, that's number one. I should always stop. Number two, I could have, it's a, it was like this much lane that I could have hit that curve and not hit that pothole and, new, and maneuvered my bike over. But I got, I got startled. Mm-hmm. I got startled. Like, I was like, oh, it's a oh. car coming. You know, I, yeah. I got startled. And I was like, oh, shit, this car finna hit me. Let me get over. Oh, they go to the curve. Let me get mm-hmm. back over. And it was all going so fast. And, like, I wasn't thinking. I was just trying to avoid everything. And by me doing that, I crashed. And I knocked myself out. <laughs> So I learned what not to do in that situation. Like, number one, period, I should have just stopped. Just like, okay, stop. Mm -hmm. Let the car go by, you know, flick them off like assholes and keep going or whatever. You know, but I should have just stopped. Number two, if I was going to do that, I should have deaccelerated. Like, even though I was going 20 or 25, I should have slowed down even more. I should have been doing like five. I should have deaccelerated all the way down and allow that car to go through and that way i've been going slow enough where i could have maneuvered myself through the obstacles because i i mean like when you take your test that's one of the things you have to do is go like this through cones and stuff 
like at a certain okay. speed. So you, because you have obstacles in the road that you always have to maneuver. Um, I never did that in a curve or in a turn, mm, okay. but that's what I should have done. So I mean, it was lesson learned from that. And like I say, I'm a, um, I'm gonna get more padded gear. But I, I just wanted to share that experience the, all the way through with you guys. Um, let you do, you know, your boy. I'm okay. I'm okay, but. I'm finna, I'm finna definitely safety it up. I'm gonna try to put myself in a big old bubble <laughs> when I ride. But um, you gonna look like you gonna look like the Michelin Man. Hey, that's fine. That's what I need to look like when I'm on that motorcycle. That's fine. I ain't trying to get I'm nobody. Free. I ain't trying to get no look. I'm <laughs> I'm um, but that's well, my. Thank the Lord, you're still alive, boy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, been, yeah, it could have been. It could have been a lot worse, you know. So I gotta fix yeah. my bike. I gotta like. So I got to get some old um, fairings for the front because like part of it broke off. My mirror broke off. Um, my handlebars didn't break this time because I got the short handlebars, the um, brakes and the you know the clutch and the brake. I got the short one, so that didn't break. But like my um, my foot brake kind of chipped off a little bit somehow. So I got to kind of I got to replace the foot brake. So I was gonna do all of that. But also, I was thinking about buying me another motorcycle. So, you know, kind of put that one, put that one to the side, and just buy me another one and say, okay, let's start fresh. Hanging <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> hey, maybe. But um, I definitely want. Your ass, you got that motorcycle on the wall. I'm gonna pull it down. <laughs> yeah. I definitely wanted to share that experience with you guys, man. Like I say, it was just like. Man, it was something serious. But, um, you know, I made it through. Like I said, I had my first accident. I lived. I lived. I learned. Knowing what to do in that situation, I think maybe I won't panic as much. I did panic. Because that was the first time I've been in that type of situation. You know, when I was in Clarksville, I mean, like, I rolled all through Clarksville, you know, in Clarksville, Tennessee. But, you know, traffic in Clarksville is not like traffic in in Atlanta, nowhere near it. So, right. and plus, I was mainly on the back roads where it wasn't that much traffic. Maybe like a car or two as I was riding. I always took back roads everywhere, for the most part. You know, the scenic route. But now it's just like, but this time I didn't even make it out the neighborhood. So, but you know, I'm glad it did happen. I'm glad I am okay. But it also taught me taught me to respect respect the bike and understanding what to do. Like that was the first time I've been in that situation, but. Yeah. I learned from it. Yeah, man. Yeah, sometimes you got to drive for other folks. Like you said, you know, so decelerate. You feel like, you know what I'm saying, you could have decelerated and let them come on through or whatever. You know, sometimes, you know, like I said, defensive driving. Sometimes you got to drive for the mother people because yeah. they ain't paying attention. You know what I'm saying? That, that little baby then might be young. You know, they jamming them. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to bring you guys some more videos. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get everything back up and running. Like I said, I'm gonna order me another helmet. You know, maybe do another GoPro, get that setup back going. And I'm gonna start back giving you guys videos of that um, blogging and stuff with my um, with my motorcycle again. We're gonna be back on, man. Sure. We're, gonna, we're gonna be back on. But um, I guess today in this podcast, I actually wanted to talk to you about um, you know, if you had one wish. And your one wish, you could have get any firearm you want. Just one of them. For the rest of your life, you're just going to have one. What would it be, Kevin? And why? I know I, I caught you out the blue because we didn't even talk about none of this. This is just like spirit of the moment. I already told you. I already told you. I like those better than I like pills. You, like, you know me. I'm contrary to everything, you like, man. I got to. You like the AR-15s better? If I just had one for the rest of my life, I give me one of the minimum, one of the info like what we had in all. Mm -hmm. I get that one, get the little small compact, put a few accessories on it, extend over and call it a day. Why? I mean, out of uh, every gun, part, mm -hmm. out of this every is what gun. I'm comfortable with. I'm, I'm, I'm just comfortable with it. That's what I know. Gotcha. I know that more than I know anything else. So, you know, go with what you know. What about you? 
You know what, man? I might just be like, don't give me no gun. If I gotta just choose one, don't give me no gun. Fuck it. I'm done. Sound good. Sound good. I'm done. Now. Um, get to a sling shot. Um. I mean, oof. Get just a nine shot. If I can only have one. I guess I would have to go AR-15, too. I mean, but I think my reason is a lot different than your reason. Um, I think the reason why I choose the AR-15, A, number one, it's tons of accessories you can put on that thing. But number two is everybody else got an AR-15, so I can, I can grab their ammo if I need to. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, run out of ammo, I can go bar and use their ammo if they allow me to. But you, 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 you yeah, you know how that go. You know where that going. You know. <laughs> you know. But I think I think I probably would choose an AR fifteen as well. Um uh, but the second I mean if I mean you know the runner up would be a uh AK forty seven. Oh okay. I thought you were going to say yeah, man. My run-up would be my CZ. It would be a CZ. The one I showed you? Yeah. It just, it's, it's like it was built for my hand, bro. And then the way it suited so smooth to me. Mm-hmm. I might give me one of those for Christmas, maybe. Because I don't have one. Next time I, next time I run up there, man, we go to the worst car and uh, let you. It's a five for cup long. You can bust that thing in the air. Man, you ain't trying to go, you ain't trying to go to the range. Hey, what big boy said, man, I put two in the air to let him know I'm babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nobody that ATM. Two in the air to let him know I'm babysitting. Yeah, man, I come up there. I ain't got no problem going to the range. All right, all right, that's a bet. That's a bet. We'll fill up. We'll fill up that little. That little wig. Then you have a red wig. Well, did you that had that red wig? When we were like small. In Mississippi. I, was you. Yeah. I, I had one in Mississippi. The devil. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Man, we got to go find that thing and load it up <laughs> and take it to the right. <laughs> boy, you stupid, boy. Yeah, I think I remember that in that. Dead in that tongue control. Why you just come up with a little come on that boy out, man? I ain't never seen a wagon before a day in my life. And that tongue control, I just like that joke. Right. Man, wagon with the coolest thing ever, man. For real. Well, <laughs> hey, you, you you remember when we was young and um like either I, every time you came to my house or I go to your house, um, we used to have them G.I. Joe men. Or we used to have like yeah, that G.I. Joe battle everywhere. Mm-hmm. I, I bought something off uh, eBay, man. I got them up in my closet. <laughs> Hey, man, I'm nostalgic than a mug, boy. I will take it back to the, back in the day on you in the heart. <laughs> I was on eBay and I was looking. I said, I remember that one. I remember that one. That one. That one. That one. I always wanted that one and that one. So I just bought the whole gang on. Snake Eyes. I think Snake Eyes is like my favorite. I don't know. Yeah, I got like three or four of them, man. <laughs> three or four different Snake Eyes. So, <laughs> boy, you crazy. No, I don't play with. No, I don't play with. But if I did, it'd be my pariah. <laughs> hey, you remember well, when we, about these you remember uh, when we was in when when I lived in Mississippi and, and um you spent the night in my house. I think this is like close to when we was getting ready to move or whatever when we was moving to Georgia. I don't know. I can't remember when, but I remember you spending the night in my house. And you know, like how how my den was. It, it was like huge. It was like a huge den, uh-huh. and how we had that stream going everywhere where the GI Joe men was sliding everywhere. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I think <laughs> we went to a game or something like this. No, we stayed up. That thing that yeah, we, we stayed, stayed up. up. We like, stayed up like home. all night, and we like we was, <laughs> my parents came in like Fuck all this thing everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man, I forgot about that. I just remember. I just remember looking at the clock. There were like four on. But yeah, man, it was. But we had to set a whole fort up in that joint. Yeah, I remember that, man. Boy, good times. <laughs> yeah, man. I know it, man. I know it. I know it, boy. Yeah, man. Then, um. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I had a nice side backyard, too, man. 
Oh yeah, the backyard was huge. It had to be like half an acre or something. Yeah, it was like, ginormous. Man, and you know what's crazy about that house now? So like that house where 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 we used to live. Ain't, I don't know. Well, you've been living in Georgia for a while, so you've been you probably been gone. But I looked that house up in um on Zoom or whatever. Not Zoom, but um, damn, I'm talking about Zoom. That's that's a, yeah, it's a whole neighborhood back though. Yeah, it's like a whole, but it's all mansions. It's mm -hmm. a, like yeah, I'm where, make where all that wood, where where them woods used to be, they made a whole other neighborhood out of it. It's all mansions, and I'm like, man. You talking about? You talking about if you facing it to the left or going straight in the back where the woods used to be? Cause you know, uh, before y'all left, it was the woods that were back there, and they had a little trail. I think we went back there for a minute. I don't both. Know what they were doing on both there. sides. It's both, on. it's both sides. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Cause I know we it was a trail both ways. Yeah. So I like doing it, like drive and other. So doing the like going towards the tra trail where the woods were, they put mm -hmm. like regular homes mm -hmm. right there. Like I mean, wow. I say regular homes, but it's like you know. I know what I'm saying. Nice size. Nice size homes, but like on the mm -hmm. on the uh, on my right side, like you know, that used to be like a dead end, like right there. Right. Okay. Yeah. On, yeah. The, back backed up. Yeah. Yeah. On the right side, there used to be a dead end with nothing but woods, right. and um, yeah. they cleared all that out and they put like nothing but mansions back there, man. So like my okay. and it's weird because my mom then told me that. my mom told me that they had the option like to with the home that with that home it was like I want to say twenty five acres of land of wood that they could have included in the home for like little or nothing but they they didn't want it didn't do it they didn't do it and I was like man because like now know it, dog. you got so many homes you got so many mansions back off on on the woods and that could have been like all of our property but yeah man I was like Damn. that was crazy <laughs> yeah because I'd be talking about getting that man now man I'm like man that's crazy bro yeah. 25 acres 25 that's how much wood was back there I mean it was like but see at that time at that time though they went it wasn't like you say it wasn't, it wasn't built up no nah, right it wasn't none of, i mean it was just straight woods i mean it was, yeah because i think they they had just started putting the north park the north park was just just put out there right when we all there yeah they the wall. yeah they um, weren't building up around there at all. yeah but oh well that's crazy man that's crazy yeah man that was i remember that man um it was a trail I remember riding and it was all the time. That's how I learned how to ride. Jerry was out there with me. Yeah. And uh, the bike was flat. It had flats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I had her bike and you was on yours. And he had both of us out there teaching us how to, how to ride while I was getting it. Well, I thought I was new mud out there, but he couldn't tell me that. Well, I thought I was a Christian new hundred dollar bill. Man, we've been friends for too long, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what, what, 40 years? 40 plus? 40 plus years, yeah, man. Dog. We've been friends for too long. 40 plus years. <laughs> yeah, dog. I'm like, yeah, I, mean, I remember that. I'm trying to think about it. It was something else I remember. Um, when, you, when we used to go to Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese, I vaguely remember that. I vaguely remember that. I remember my mom's house. Mm -hmm. Um some dudes stayed down from the street. Yeah, Antonio and, 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 and yeah. Antonio and D and yeah. her folks down now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but don't nobody yeah, want to hear this man on our podcast. We going down Miri Lane, FBI, man. <laughs> FBI. Oh, man. I had two shorts said buy you some. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real though, man. Yeah, I remember that. I forgot all about that. Boy, it's extremely Yes, sir. G.I. Joe sliding down. <laughs> First time I shot ball with you, I think your dad was working at uh, Jackson State doing something. Yeah. Then we go to I the park and shoot. Who? Then we go to the park and shoot. If we did, I don't remember that. I just remember going to Jackson State. When they had somebody game was out there, and we were playing ball, I was trying to shoot. I bought everything. I was at that line. Boy, I had the ugliest form ever. I mean, you still do, but, you know, it's all right. Well, please. Glass in the air. Get that up. Nobody wearing glass in the air. Let's play it off. 
<laughs> if you some helmets, I ain't that, boy. If I had your helmets, I'd, man, you couldn't tell me that. If I had your helmets, you couldn't tell me that. <laughs> That's crazy, because then we met back up at Mount Zion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stayed out there and played ball all day. Yeah. I still tell people about that all day. I said, man, yeah. we still boy out. I'm glad we stopped one day. Rock Creek, baby. Maybe get some water. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. That was cool. Boy, I had no win on me, boy. When y'all used to run full court, boy, I had to go stand off to the side. Man, that <laughs> man I'm too cool for that, man. <laughs> I have nothing to do that. Hey, little as I know, six years later, I've been running five miles for nothing in the army. <laughs> he said for Count, nothing. Count me. Well, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> nothing at all but man I, i'm just i i just you know i just really wanted to share share that story with you guys on on my podcast uh right now we're just going off the top of the dome i just want to make this a quick podcast but um of course you know y'all saw that sign <sighs> 10 minutes left i gotta do something I'm, i don't think i want to go in with the free verse with the full version so i'm gonna try something else man i'm, I'm gonna try i'm gonna try a couple of things with this platform play around with it and I want you guys to just tell me um, what you guys like the best. Right now, we're using Zoom as a platform, and I got the free version, so it only gives you about maybe like 20 minutes, which is nothing. Um, I might want to upgrade it, but I don't think I want to upgrade it just yet. I'm trying to give, me, give myself some options. Um, <clears throat> so next Wednesday, I'm going to come with a different podcast, and I'm going to have a different platform so, so we can start comparing the two. And man, y'all just gonna ride with me while we go through all this, and you know, figure out what's the best thing and how we want to work it. Um, but that crash was scary, man. That crash was scary, but I, I made it through it. And we just gonna, you know, I'm 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 not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going. Like I said, I learned from it. I'm gonna get another bike, or well, I might just fix up that bike, or I might keep riding that bike. I mean, the bike is rideable. It's nothing wrong with just just defenders um, kind of came apart or whatever, and like what keeps them together all the way, kind of like two or three of them kind of snapped off, and it kind of doesn't look ass pleasing. I mean, nobody would ever know unless you like staring directly at the bike and looking extremely hard. But I don't know. Like I said, I'm just gonna keep it pushing. Um, what I want to do for the next time. I don't know. Maybe if you got some free time, man, I want to go to the range and I, I want you to, um, I want you to kind of record your your experience and we can bring it back and put it up and see what you do versus what I do. I mean, like like right now, I know we different. Um, I mean, we're not too far from each other because you came up here. How long did it take you to come get up here? A little longer, three hours. It was three hours. Mm-hmm. Probably does it depend on. I probably blacked out and did a hundred a few times. <laughs> Stop, boy! You ain't doing a hundred down seven five. No, I ain't them police. <laughs> hey, 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 you talking to a dude hey, that made from so, Jackson, Mississippi to so, Atlanta, Georgia, five hours with so, a one hour break? So we're we're just <laughs> we're just coming up with scenarios. Please do not take this as for real of law enforcement. You know, <laughs> these are just. Strictly fictional scenarios. <laughs> hey, bro. That boy said, man, I see the twelve behind him. I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> nah, boy, man, I'm playing. Hey, I would tell you my story. I still remember this. So I was in the Mustang, right? Quick, quick story. I was in the Mustang. And you know how you pass and I was speeding. I was going, you know, this is that when I was taking pictures and stuff for um, photo reel or whatever. I was taking pictures of homes and I was trying to hear, I was in Henry County and I was trying to hear up and get done. And I was speeding, trying to get to the next spot, right? So the police was coming this way and I was speeding. And then you know how you just like lay off the brake, you like, oh shit, oh shit. And I just got enough, I just had like two tickets already. I was just like, oh fuck, I hope. I hope he don't turn around. And I seen the whip start whipping around. I was like, damn, he's going to get me. <laughs> so, me being the person I am, I was like, 
Fuck it. Boo! I, <laughs> I smashed it, right? And then, like, the way it was, like, I was coming, I was, like, we was going up a hill, and I was going down the hill. So when he turned around, he had to go back up the hill to come back down the hill to come get me. And I smashed it. And, like, I called myself whipping, carry up and whipping down this street, and I parked my car in these people's yard, like, in the driveway. I just parked it. And I could tell he was trying to follow me. And he came down that street and I parked the car, but I was already parked. Like I wasn't even in the car no more. So he just kept rolling, right? And I was like, okay. But I was like, I know he gonna come back. I was like, I hope these people don't come out the house. Right? Cause I was like, man, they see me sitting in their driveway. They gonna be, you know, so I was like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So I was like, I was, I was just like, I was gonna make up something. I was like, hey, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm lost. I don't know where I'm at, I'm, you know, how do I get, you know, I was gonna, if the people came out, I was just gonna start talking to them or whatever. And um, just to try to throw the cops off. So of course he turned around and he passed me again, going back the other way. And I was still parked there. Like, and I was ducking down so he can see my head or whatever, like I was still sitting in the car. So I was ducking down, so I was like, yeah, he gone. I was like, yeah. So I sat there for like another ten, five or ten minutes, right? And um, I thought he was gone. I was like, man, he ain't got that time. He gonna go on about his business, man. So I I, I backed up out the driveway. I, now keep in mind, I've been sitting there for almost twenty minutes in these people's driveway. <laughs> yeah, nothing to do. He had nothing to do. <laughs> I backed up out the driveway and I was and I came and you know back to the main road and I was gonna I turned left. Tell me why that that fool was sitting on top of the hill waiting for me. And as soon as I turned around, he whoop, whoop, he came and got me. I was like, he was like, yeah, you thought you thought you had me, didn't you? That's what he said. He was like, you thought you had me, didn't you? He was like, that was a good one. You thought you thought you had me, yeah. So, license and registration. I got you for speeding. <laughs> you was doing it. I was like. Oh, man. <laughs> I only in Georgia, man. I only in Georgia. <laughs> he, he was actually, you know, as he was writing, as he was talking to me, he was laughing at me because he was like, you thought you had yeah. me. He was like, you really thought yeah. you had me because you just popped up in their driveway. <laughs> he, was like, I, he was like, I know that trick. I seen that before. I was like, damn. Well, I mean, I was like, why you just cut your lights on and go ahead and give me the ticket right there? I wasted 20 minutes. I'll probably be working. <laughs> but I don't know, man. It's crazy. But now I'm back in Georgia. How much time you got left? Uh, I got another minute, man. Anything you want to say to the folks, man? Mm-hmm. You got some stuff that's finna come oh, out, man. man. Yeah, just be on the lookout for that podcast, man. I still got some more viewers, so I'm banking on the fact that it might be one of them, two or three of them, that I know. And I was in the hallway talking trash to work. I got you, man. I got you. Don't worry about it, man. Got their smoke. For their smoke, there's fire. For their <laughs> fire, there's facts. <laughs> facts of the feelings, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> but all right, man. I, um, Like I say, I'm going to end this podcast. We 38 minutes in, so it's around the time that I kind of want to end anyway. I didn't want to go too long, um, but holla at your boy, One Shot, Two Wheels. It's your boy. You know, I got KC with me. You know what I'm saying? Make sure be looking out for his podcast. And we out this piece. Peace. Join the goat. <laughs>